uh, right now, there are nearly one million New York voters who are registered as independents or independence party members. Uh, that's more than one in five voters, one in five, and it is a growing block. But as everyone here knows, if you're a voter who wants to work at a polling site on election day, just to give you one example of partisan <coughs> politics, you have to get appointed by a Republican or a Democratic district leader. Now, I've always wondered why any voter should be forced to register with a particular party in order to work at the polls or sign a petition or vote in an election that determines the outcome of nearly every single office in the city. And the answer I've concluded, as I'm sure you have, is they shouldn't. No voter should ever be denied the right to fully participate in the democratic process. There's a word for it. It's called disenfranchisement. Uh, disenfranchi disenfranchisement. One of the longer words, which if you think I could spell, I probably could not. Uh, but what I do know about it is it certainly flies in the face of a core American value, and that is equal rights for all voters, no 